Hey YouTube! So in the month of June, I have read 10 books and I am gonna go over my ratings, kind of what I thought about them. Let's go! So first up, the first book I completed in the month was A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. This one is huge. So most of this reading was done in the month before. I was just very close to finishing it and I knew I would not finish it in the previous month. So this was my first book of June. Um, I can't go into too much depth on what this is about, but it is in the Akatar series and it follows a different character than the first three and a half books. So for A Court of Silver Flames, I gave it a three stars. I was just kind of indifferent about it. I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. So I gave it a three stars. So that is book number one. The second book I finished this month was Night Shift by Annie Crown. This one was really cute, just kind of light and fluffy. Doesn't take much brain power to read this one. It's a Wattpad book, but it's not as like Wattpad, like smutty as I thought it was gonna be. So they're both in college and then she works at a library and then he is a basketball player. The Night Shift. I gave a three stars. Next we have The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. This one was so good. I was not expecting what happened like at all. I I will say I was super mad at this one character. If you read it, you know, you know, you'll be mad at this character like the whole time and then you'll understand why they're acting that way. Um, yeah, I did not expect what happened in the end is the housemaid housemaid's secret and then the housemaid is watching just came out as well and i guess it all follows the same main housemaid i don't know yeah so i gave this one a five stars because i was really surprised at how much i liked it i was not i've said this before but i was not like planning on reading this book but it was downstairs in my mail room and it's like in perfect condition so I'm really, really glad I read this. Then we have another book that was just found in my mailroom. <laughs> it is When Never Comes by Barbara Davis. This one I gave three stars. I really wasn't that connected to the characters. I just don't feel like this is a book I would have normally pulled for. So our main character, her husband dies in a car accident. And then she finds out that he had a mistress and that mistress has a daughter and she's kind of debating like if she helps the daughter out financially or even like takes her in oh the mistress was in the car with him so both of the child's parents are dead i just thought what happens like in the end of the book I thought we were just gonna get more of that throughout the book and not it just like end so abruptly, if that makes sense. Next, I read If Only I Had Told Her by Laura Nolan. I do agree that some of the perspectives we didn't really need. I wish it was just the first perspective maybe a little bit of a second we did not need the last one in my opinion oh yeah it tells you okay it does tell you who's whose perspective it's in so it's in finney's perspective and then jack's perspective his best friend and then autumn his girlfriend if you haven't read the first book then you shouldn't be reading this one <laughs> they kind of have to go in order because of the events that happen. I really appreciate Finney's perspective. I just wish it was longer. Um, I feel like Autumn's was a little bit unnecessary. Yeah, I feel like the, I wish the majority of the book was Finney's perspective. And then maybe just a little bit of Jack's perspective as well, but I didn't really think Autumn's was that helpful. I gave this one three stars. Then we have Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. This one's literally just 
itty bitty. It's very, very quick read. If you want to get into like Chestnut Springs, I know that one's like probably one of the most popular cowboy rom romances and you're kind of intimidated because it's what five books and they're kind of thick too i would probably start out with the rebel blue ranch series because they're like way smaller and quicker to get through and they're like the same kind of feeling this one was really cute and i'm super excited to read the next book in the series lost and lassoed I gave this one a three stars. I just wasn't like in love with it. And we have Off to the Races by Elsie Silver. I got the new cover of it. It's stunning. And they had like lots of horses in here, which I love because I have a horse. And then the novella was so cute in the back. So when you're reading, you'll think you have a lot more left and then it'll be over. It's because this much of it is the novella out of the gate so like when i was updating goodreads it was like really confusing because it was like oh i'm this much percent of the book but i still have like this chunk left but the novella was adorable i gave this one a four stars i included the rating so the rating was based off of off to the races and the novella I thought they were both really, really cute. I enjoyed them a lot. Then we have Just for Summer. This was my book of the month for April, so I was a bit behind, but I am catching up, don't you worry. This one was so, so cute. All the summer vibes. I gave this one a four star, so I definitely liked it while I was reading it. Um, I just can't think of anything to say right now. Then we have another Elsie Silver book. We have the last book in the Chestnut Spring series. This is Hopeless. I actually really enjoyed this one. I gave it a four stars. I've given every single book that I've read in the Chestnut Spring series. I haven't read the first one. Don't come for me. I can't find a mirror cover of it. That's not like $200. And I want them all to match. So I have not read that one. Where was I going? Oh yeah, I gave them all four stars. I know some people were kind of disappointed in Bo's book, but I kind of really liked it. I thought they were really cute together. I was really not mad at it. I think my favorites, my top two favorites from Chestnut Springs are Heartless and Reckless. I was kind of iffy on Powerless. I still gave it a four, but it wasn't my favorite. And like, it's, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm kinda sad it's over, but at least now I am reading the Gold Rush Ranch series. And then I have the Rose Hill series. And we have another book coming out in the same year that the first one came out. How awesome is that? Thank you, Elsie. Okay, last book I have read in the month of June was Binding 13. This one I gave a five stars. This, I was like hooked from the beginning. I did not expect to love this as much as I did. But at the same time, I know everyone loves Boys of Tommen. So am I that surprised? And now I am reading Keeping 13. I think I like Binding 13 a little bit more, but maybe the end. I'm only about like halfway through Keeping. So that could change. But that is all I have for you guys today. No, it's not. No, it's not. I still have to go over my TBR. I still have to go over my TBR. What am I thinking? All right, moving on to the TBR segment. First up, we got Butcher and Blackbird, which oh, I want to read the audiobook, but it's kind of a several month wait on Libby, so... You'll have to wait to see my thoughts on this one. And then also Leather and Lark just came out. And of course it's like available on Hoopla. So I know there, you don't have to read them in order, but that just makes the most sense in my mind. So we're gonna have to wait for this one. This one's just a serial killer romance. They kill like bad guys. And they kind of have competitions of like 
who gets to kill this guy first. It's supposed to be like, it's like funny, I guess. It's like a serial killer rom-com and everyone loves this. It's also gonna be a movie, okay, what? They're making this into a movie. I just found that out recently. Next, we have Iron Flame. Oh my gosh. I will be starting this soon because the second part of the graphic audio book comes out on like the 12th of July. So I'm gonna read the first one and then when the second one comes out, I'm gonna read it as soon as it drops. Cause then Onyx Storm comes out in 2025. Is it January it comes out? I don't remember but I just prefer the graphic audio versions, especially in like fantasies. It just heightens the experience. After Midnight by Irina Shapiro. This one, I've said it before, it has the same exact plot line as, I think it's called Middle Tide, which was a book of the month pick. It's literally the exact same. There is a, there's an author that ends up dead literally killed in the same way hanging from a tree and they were killed in the same way as the character in the books they write it's the exact same i think it's so funny so maybe i'll read middle tide as well and see which one i like better okay then we have my may book of the month this is the return of ellie black by amiko jean this one seems really i'm really intrigued by this one it's kind of giving maybe like reappearance of Rachel Price vibes. It's kind of the same thing. Someone goes missing and then they return. And we don't know where they were, what's going on. So I'm excited to pick this one up. I think I'm like next in line to read this on Libby. So I'll get to it soon. Then we have Funny Story by Emily Henry. Um, you probably won't see this in a wrap up for a while. Um, it is several months wait time on Libby, unfortunately. I've heard kind of mixed reviews on it. I mean, I think I would like it, but we'll see. Okay, then we have mistakes we never made. So actually this morning, I just got an alert that it is ready for me to borrow it on Libby. So I downloaded that and I will be starting this very soon. So you can expect this in next month's wrap up. Then we have a Fate Inked in Blood. I kind of have no idea what this is about. I just know she has like a blood oath or something um, and it has pretty sprayed edges and it's a fantasy and it's gonna be a series. That's all I know, but I'm excited to dive into this world. Again, this is like a several months wait time on Libby, so you might not see it for a while, but I will get to it. Then we have my June book of the month. Um, we got Margot's Got Money Troubles. So all I know is Margot is like a young mom and as the title says, she has money troubles and she starts like an OnlyFans. That's, that's all I know. Then we have a Collide. This literally looks adorable, looks light and fluffy, looks like I don't need lots of brain power to read this. I know the second book is coming out next year. Yeah, a little sports romance, all the good stuff. And then we have the Paradise Problem. Uh, I think the next, what, four books have not been in TBR wrap up videos. So I'll explain a little bit more about what they're about, if I know, if I know. So next we have the Paradise Problem by Christina Lauren. This will be my second Christina Lauren book. I read Love in Other Words. I, I think I gave that a four star. It, I think I just went in with too high of expectations. So I didn't love it. It's like, all right. Um, but this is the paradise problem. I honestly have no idea what this is about. I found this again in my apartment's mail room. I have like the best of luck finding books there. Should I 
see what it's about. It's gonna have fake relationship, fake dating. Oh, in order to get an inheritance, okay. So they have to, what, get married? Oh, okay, so the guy that she was married to and divorced, they never actually got divorced. They're still married because he had to be married for like a certain amount of time to get his inheritance. I guess is the premise of this one. Okay, then we have another book from my mail room. This one is The Blast from the Past. I looked it up and this is the third book in a series. So this might be on the TBR for a while. I'll have to buy the <laughs> first two <laughs> before I read this one. But it's, I think it it's, it's like a romance, but like also like a mystery, I'm I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a it's a Lucy score. I've never read Lucy before. It's in the Riley Thorne series. I'll have to add those to my list to pick up. Okay, and then we have two more books left. Yesterday was yesterday was July 2nd, if you guys know what that means. That means it was reckless release day and I did get it. So I actually picked up Powerful 2 because I haven't read it and I didn't have it. It's so tiny, it's so tiny. I don't know why she did that, but but it looks really cute. It's, it's cute, it's cute. So of course I had to get the Barnes exclusive. So we got Powerful, which is Adina's little novella book one and a half of the Powerless Trilogy. And then we got Reckless by Lauren Roberts. It's so pretty and the Barnes exclusive is like the blue and the gold. I'm so excited to get back into this world, see what's going on. They're just so pretty, they're so pretty. I know everyone is gonna be reading this book like ASAP, so. I'll get to hear their thoughts before I dive into it. All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye.